there. I'm trying to think of like where I can get the second layer in, you know? Right. Yeah. So this is all efficiency. Do you think that that like that offset that you had right there? I like that. Kind of offsetting them in the bottom. But like, how do you position? Like, this is. I think positioning them is what's going to be the problem once you figure out what you're doing. Puzzle time. We are here. <laughs> That's a great intro, man. I like that. Damn. All right. <laughs> cool. Um, we don't have a lot of extra stuff today. We're just jumping right in. So let's just cool. Let's get in. What are we doing? We talked hey, actually. Let's go cyclone. Cyclone. We did talk about cyclone last week. We have it here today. We're right here. Um, let's pull the packaging too. I like the packaging. I watched uh, I watched a couple of videos on Cyclone. There's been a few of them out there. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna be a very popular honey ammo puzzle. I like it. It's good, feels good, looks good. It's a fairly hard puzzle. I think it's a level five out of six on the honey ammo difficulty rating scale. We did a level nine on the puzzle master rating scale. It's designed it. by Kyo Kyo Q Wong. Q Wong. Um yeah. Do you gotta get them all apart? Or you do have to get them all apart. Yeah, essentially you're like trying to maneuver them. From what I've seen, you're trying to remove maneuver them so you can like get the, the heads Great together way, kind yeah. of and they pull apart. So I think like obviously I would guess that the first piece is gonna be like fairly difficult to get on this one. But like your subsequent pieces kind of get easier and easier. Obviously, because then you have less stuff. I think the big problem with this one is that there's not all the like your movement is very limited. So I feel like it's kind of similar to Cast Quartet. Have you played with that one at all? Yes. Yeah, it's it's very similar to that because you're like your move, everything's tight, and so you you don't have a ton of movement that you can do, and you, there's things that you want to do that you there's just angles can't get that are to. a little bit different. You see that yeah. that angle's a little bit different than yeah. this one. The pieces are different. Yeah, the yeah. The, the, the pieces are as in first view, like they all look the same. Definitely not. They're different, um, different pieces, different cuts. So yeah, there's like that angle on, let's see if I can get this on the camera here. That angle up front here is different from like the, those cuts here compared to like that. This is like more straight on. And on this one, there's a little edge. See that at the bottom? Oh. And maybe. then there's a little indent on that side. There's like nubs and edges yeah. and stuff and that are different. Yeah. Yeah, so you cutouts. cutouts. Yeah, you're obviously gonna move the pieces inside there. I don't think you're gonna solve this. I'd be very impressed yeah. if you did. <laughs> I'd be impressed too. Yeah, and that's so. This, I love this puzzle. It's I think it's going to be very popular. It's kind of the the higher end of the difficulty levels. They're yeah. the better ones with Hanny Emma. They are. Yeah. yeah. So Cat Cyclone right there, level five out of six on the Hanny Emma difficulty rating scale. Let's jump in next. So I'm going to pull out. So here's Kepler. We got Kepler. Hey. That's our next puzzle. Don't open it just yet. This is from Felix Year. You've seen Felix Year before. This is Cast Titan. Or Titan, not Cast Titan. Titan. <laughs> uh, you've seen that puzzle before. Uh, Kepler comes in a very similar packaging, similar size. So, yeah. This is Titan. Yeah, Titan and a few others that he has. So. It was going to be way bigger on the site. I did too. I looked at the site and I'm like, oh, this looks big. I don't always pay attention to the, the rulers though. We have those rulers yeah. that like show you the sizing. Yeah, I don't pay attention to that always. So like that, that's where you miss it on some of these. So Insert 11 balls in the box. Yeah. And close the lid. Okay. Yeah. Really cool. It's metal. So this is anodized aluminum and, or not anodized, machined aluminum and brass. And a nice little box here. Good luck indeed. Man. It's a level eight. Um, and Mr. Puzzle does this video, a video on this Ooh. puzzle. Um, 
So I watched that a little bit beforehand. I didn't watch the solution or anything, but I watched Mr. Puzzles talk about this. And he said Kepler is a, like a mathematical formula. So this puzzle is called, and it's a mathematical formula about packing stuff into 3D shapes or objects. So, and that's what, the, what you gotta do in here. Um, pack all the balls into the, the frame. Um, and then it comes with the lid. See, this is what I, what I never actually saw, was the lid has a little magnet. So it's magnetic, not to that, but to the balls. I thought that was actually pretty interesting. Yeah, it's gotta fit flush, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's gotta be a trick to it. Um, now, have you played with uh, Tower of London by from Rumble? It's uh, a, a little bit, yeah. I think it's a similar puzzle to this, and I wonder if there's not a similar effect to it of some kind. Ugh. Because in that one, you had to like put the balls in and then like maneuver them with your fingers yeah. and get them all in there. It was actually really, I love that Tower of London one. It was hard, but really good. So, what do you think? So, can you fit? Well, I thought this was going to be easier, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a level eight, so it's it's kind of on the max of our, our like abilities. Ugh. Um, Keep popping out. Yeah. Let me try again. If the lid is not flat against the top of the box, you haven't solved it. Hmm. Okay. So, Whoa, have you tried? Have you tried sick. fitting these in? Like, you can't. You can fit two like that, but that third one won't even lay flat. So I thought maybe like three of them would fit in there, but they don't. Flat like that, hey? Or at least I couldn't get it to. Oh no, no it doesn't, no it doesn't, just, so it, that's weird. Hmm. That's weird trying to pack, how do you pack it in? Like what's your, I don't even know what your, your shape would be that you're trying to make in there. Right. Hmm. I think, I feel like if you research what the Kepler effect or Kepler, whatever that Kepler is, I feel like that maybe it would be a, like a, a hint oh, to the please. solution. Yeah, cause I feel like these guys often hide hide things in the names, right? I think that's a lot of the, the point sometimes. It's like hiding clues in plain sight almost. I like this, I, you know, I think this is a really, really well made puzzle. I think that's cool. Like even the little brass feet slash screws, mm -hmm. just beautifully made. So I mean, it fits in with all the other stuff Felix has done before, so that's good. Nice. Yeah, Kepler. Yeah. What uh, level is this one? It is a level eight on the Puzzle Master level difficulty eight. rating oh. scale. I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> what? <laughs> you couldn't do it? Couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess these are all, I guess these would be steel ball bearings probably, hey? Because mm -hmm. that's why the magnet sticks to them. And then this would be brass and aluminum. So your brass is your lid and your screws, and then the aluminum is the, the box itself. It's nice. I like that one. It's good. Kepler. Brand new on the Puzzle Master website. Yeah. So let's move on to what we usually, uh, usually we do Aaron's Anomalies here. We're going to jump into uh, Israel IPP. So we've talked about them before. This is the International Puzzle Party. This is the is Israel version of that. Um, and they interview Mr. Puzzle Australia. That is the puzzle designer, Mr. Puzzle Australia. Nice. Um, so uh, I think this is just showing his puzzle collection. He has a crazy puzzle collection. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. So he's he starts out by showing some of his puzzles and then he like walks behind the camera and like then turns the camera around and you see what his room is. It's nuts. He has, he has like big glass cases full of stuff. So he goes to this one thing that's like these metal drawers and starts pulling out drawers like, oh, hey, this is the Hanayama drawer. And it's like just all Hanayama on this drawer that's probably as wide as his table. Like crazy stuff. So yeah, he has a whole bunch of things in his collection. Um, big, there's a, there's a huge chest. That is like a puzzle. He's a sequential puzzle, discovery puzzle he made. It's this, he says it's the biggest one. It's like the, probably again, the size of this table almost. Big, so yeah. Nice. Cool. So yeah, check that out. Interview with Mr. Puzzle Australia, showing his puzzle collection. First up is probably my metal section. Um, we've got 
I won't spend too much time on this. We've got uh, a fair bit of Will Stryber stuff in there. And then we've got uh, Rocky. Oh, down the bottom we have Brass Monkeys. And then um, here, I'll just come back a bit. We have our Rubik's section. So, just let it focus. I'm really bad at Rubik's cubes. That's why they're all behind glass. <laughs> then, uh, we have large puzzles up above on a glass pane because got, they don't fit in a shelf. And it hides a big, it hides a really big eye beam too. So, then this is actually the opposite side of the room. Now, a lot of these here, I'll just come over a bit closer and do individual windows. There's basically a lot of French stuff up the top there. Then you come down, uh, there's Philip Dubois stuff on that shelf. Uh, there's a Chinomoto part shelf. Everyone knows who he is. Um, and you come down, uh, Stuart Coffin. And I, you can notice that I actually st store them a lot in, in actual manufacturer more than anything else. And there's a lot of plastic versions of Coffin down the bottom. And you've got here, uh, more French at the top. Then we come down. Uh, there's a Juno shelf, nice. and uh, we, we're, when you come down a bit further, there's Tom Lynch, uh, and then all sorts of stuff down the bottom, just a mixture. A lot of Vinko stuff, because Vinko's a very good friend of mine, him and Dagmar. So, a lot of Vinko stuff, and assortment of some Japanese. Now. Um, you want to go and open it? Yeah, you can come in there and huh? show your limited edition. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll go in the limited edition. So, the limited edition that you were talking about before, they actually started off, they were very basic puzzles. Um, because when we stained a lot of them, the first, and every year we actually produce three. And you can see a lot of this on the history on our website now. So, there's a limited edition. They got a little bit more complicated and more complicated as we went down, and that's and then we started doing uh, Kamiki puzzles that were big, but there weren't sequential discoveries really. And there's more burrs up here, different types that have take, taken in. And then, yeah, you want to open the drawer? Yeah. yeah. Um, and this, that's the fee chain drawer. So there's, wow. you'll see all these drawers. Yeah, that's, that's just the key chains. So, you could push it over. so every drawer here is pretty much full. It's another reason we don't buy too many more puzzles anymore. <laughs> you ran out of oh. now, now all those handy armors have come out of that box and been played with and put back again. This is, uh, we'll just show you the top ones here. These are more the antique ones now. This one is uh, checkerboards. Sliding There's a sliding block. Whoops, sorry, don't get seasick. And then the last one is RJ. Hang on, I'll just come around here a bit better. Make my sort of close. Dex, there's just generally dexterity. And just up here is sort of an assortment of all sorts of weird stuff. Um, now, then we just go over here. There's a ceiling. If you've been here at IPP, you would have seen the ceiling. It's a tangram in the ceiling. No, you don't play with it. There's uh, it's part of my string collection. This is the biggest uh, sequential discovery puzzle that we've made. It's, I'm going to stand aside, it's <coughs> Sorry. So it's pretty large. It's an Indian chest from Gujarat. It actually had a couple of little trick openings, pretty basic, but I got into it and did a lot of other modifications to the puzzle and put a lot of sequential move puzzles in it. A lot of people were playing with it in 2007 here. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump into the online buy. Online buy. Uh, start with Chris Ramsey. Um, we always like his stuff. He is on TikTok and he shot, you remember that uh, 3D printed treasure chest that we did? The red mm -hmm. and yellow one? Yep. Nice. Yeah, he he solves it, but he actually shows you like the actual solution. We yep. did it, but we, we didn't really we didn't really understand what we were place. doing. Yeah. So we're just Neanderthals. <laughs> but he shows you the actual solution. So it's all about positioning the thing in the right spot and then you move the pieces, right? Yep. So he actually walks you through what to do. Check that out, TikTok. He has lots of good stuff on there. 
Um, puzzle guy, connection to Chris Ramsey. He did Chris Ramsey's Haniyama puzzle, um, that CR thing, oh, his yeah. logo with the ring. And so yeah, puzzle guy does it. Uh, it's funny, he actually, uh, in the start of it, he talks about the shipping. And uh, so he, he said, the title of his video is that the he is doing the most expensive Haniyama puzzle, which is this Prince <laughs> Ramsey one, which it is, yeah. on its own it is not, uh, but apparently, um, Puzzle guy paid like 60 bucks shipping to get it there. Jeez. So uh, it went from a $25 puzzle to an $85 puzzle. They shipped it to Australia? To No, no, no. This is Puzzle Guy. This oh, is Puzzle okay. Guy in uh, the Czech Republic. Yeah, Czech Republic. Yeah. So he got it shipped there and it costs a lot of money. So yeah, um, shipping. Well, yeah. It would come right from Japan, wouldn't it? No, I think Chris ships ship them out from Montreal. in Montreal. I'm, nice. like, I, I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure about that, but. Wherever it came from, it is expensive. So good puzzle. Check it out. YouTube um, puzzle guy. Um, also, one of our favorite uh, Haniyama guys, Ross DM on YouTube. He solves the puzzle we talked about today, the cast cyclone. Nice. He does solve it. Um, and it was, uh, he solves not this version, he solves the one that Haniyama sent out to all the puzzle people mm. to kind of get the, the he said, they sent out this like flat oh, version. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't like uh, all glossy like this. It was like a flat color, it looked really cool. And if you, with the idea, they send it out to all these influencers to, for them to show it on their channel, but also to like give them an idea on what rating to do it, to the difficulty rating. So um, Ross said it was a five. It's a five, so he hit nice. the nail on the head. Uh, Ross solves it. And then, um, what else was that? I think that was it. Yeah, good video. Check out Ross. If you want to have any Haniyama stuff, man, he is the place to go to. So he solves Cast Cyclone. Cool. Um, and then Mr. Puzzle, as I referenced before, he, he solves the puzzle Kepler that we did today. Um, it is really good. Uh, I didn't watch it. I did. I wa okay, I watched. I watched the start of the video just to get and get an idea, okay. and then I, I shut it off for the solution. So I didn't okay. want to ruin it for this video. But after this, I do want to go watch this video and see the solution. So uh, yeah, check it out, Mr. Puzzle. And then one thing completely out of the mechanical puzzle realm, but uh, we do sell jigsaws on Puzzle Master's website. Um, so I watched this crazy video of a guy solving a forty-two thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. Just a time lapse. Yeah, it's a time lapse. That's like, awesome. As if he's, he's, the live video would be crazy. Like, uh, but yeah, it's a time lapse. It's a two and a half minute time lapse. This guy's name is Andre F on YouTube. Uh, Forty two thousand pieces, two and a half minutes, I think, just over. Yep. And it's not. So he lays it out and like organizes all the pieces. You watch. The funniest thing to me was that he's solving it and you watch his clothes change. So you can tell what day he's working on by like the clothing he's wearing. So one day he's like, in an orange shirt, the next day he's in a blue shirt. So you can yeah. see like how much he did in one day of work. I always wonder what guys like this. Dude, that takes a long time. We have a 37,000 Disney yeah. one here yeah. and it's six foot by 11 feet. Yeah. So this is so 42,000. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. Man. That's a whole wall. And it's cool watching it kind of come together because like, you can see pieces being built. Yeah. He's, he's flipping all over. There's stuff moving. And it's a really cool video. So, yeah, I respect for him. Um, I wonder. A lot of time and patience. Do you, do you think he has a day job or is he just like do puzzles for fun? I don't know. I'm a whole, ideally, this guy got the COVID layoff and then he picked up a puzzle <laughs> and he doing, started a YouTube channel. He's just doing a 42,000 piece puzzle. Yep. <laughs> that is the way to and do I'll it. I'll start with a 42,000 piece puzzle. <laughs> so yeah, Andre F, check him out YouTube. Uh, I'm sure he has lots of other stuff. I just watched that one video. So that is the online buzz. Nice. A little shorter video for everyone today. Um, breeze through stuff. I don't think we solved anything even today, hey? Nope. Cool. Nope. Um, next week. Let's shoot these puzzles. I think yeah. I pulled these out today. We didn't solve them or do them or anything. These are uh, they're magnetic. Magnetic, yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, they do come solved. Um, this is, I won't oh, even take this one out of the box. It yeah, it's like it's metallic, metallic pieces. This one's a jigsaw. That one's not. But yeah, they magnetize together. They have a stand. We're gonna do these. Yeah. Next very week. Cool. Even the stands are cool in these. Yeah. Actually, there's a third one too. There's like a coaster one. You said right. Yeah. Yeah, so this will be next week on our episode. Uh, make, make sure you check that out. Yeah, 54, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, 
yeah so Hi. make sure you check us out on all the social stuff facebook instagram tiktok so on youtube youtube click the like button subscribe button absolutely uh newsletter for our website mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and on the website again you can always click the thing to get notifications on new puzzle our puzzles come in again when they restock them there's lots of stuff sold out uh, it is christmas we are getting in some crazy busy times so if you want to get puzzles man get them get them quick i mean the ones we talked about today it, who knows when they'll be sold out but they will be eventually because stuff is going out the door fast so yeah thank you guys for watching we appreciate your viewership. Thanks. See ya.